YouTube and Snapchat and fuckers. Welcome back to another installment of the Friday Wrap Up. Well, got a big show for you today. Uh, actually, not too big. Not too big. It's going to be quick. It's going to be brief. Um, I know it's called the Friday Wrap Up and I'm doing it on a Wednesday. Today is Thanksgiving Eve, fuckers. So happy Thanksgiving Eve. It feels like a Friday. Okay? You know, like, I know, like I said, usually we do this on Friday, but it feels like a Friday. And, you know, tomorrow with Thanksgiving and Black Friday, I got shit to do, people. All right? I ain't got time for this shit. Okay? <laughs> plus, plus, it's my show. I get to do whatever the fuck I want. But anyway, uh, I figured, you know, today's like kind of a Friday, so we're going to do the Friday wrap-up on a Wednesday. No, no, don't get don't get alarmed. We're not changing not changing the name of the show. We're not calling it the Wednesday wrap up. We're not I'm not fucking moving it to another day of the week. It's still gonna be on Friday, but it's a holiday week. You get the idea. So funny thing happened today. Oh, but before we get into today's show, I'd like to tip my hat to today's libation. Um I'm drinking actually it looks like I'm drinking a hot toddy, which I kinda am. I'm a little under the weather. I got a sore throat. Fucking, you know, these holidays are kicking my ass, but and they just started. But today's libation that I'm tipping my hat to today, since it's the holidays, a little winter jack, little Jack Daniels hot apple cider. That's obviously spiked. It's good for my my throat, you know, for my my ginger ale over here. So as I load to drink up and be somebody. This is good shit. You could pick it up now in the liquor store. You see it always around the holidays, right around this time. You can drink it on the rocks. You can put it in a mug, nuke it in the microwave. It doesn't diminish the alcohol any because you're not flambéing it. Uh, so I just put it in a, in a nice little clear mug because it looks pretty that way. And I nuked it for about a minute so it, it, it feels nice on my throat. So, you know, about a half a bottle of this, maybe a little bit of bourbon. Hopefully I'm okay by Friday. So as I lewd. So as I was rooting, as I was sayingly interrupted... Um, <laughs> I stole that from Dean Martin. Matter of fact, there is a great fucking document. Speaking of Dean Martin, there's a great documentary on TCM. You can probably catch it on demand about Dean Martin. It's fucking great. I personally love Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Matter of fact, Dean Martin is the reason I started smoking cigarettes when I was a kid. <laughs> he just always smoked a cigarette so fucking cool looking that eh, at 12 years old, I was like, if Dino could do it, I should be able to do it. I, and I think I made it look just as cool. I don't know. I hope I did. Anyway, as I was saying, I was uh, I was out running around before. I had some errands to do real quick. And as I'm as I'm coming back towards my house, I'm uh, I'm I'm coming down the road, and it was right before. There's the parkway there, the Belt Parkway, <clears throat> and right before. It was, there was a guy in front of me in a white Tesla, and he's just about to make the fucking left onto the Belt Parkway, and all of a sudden, his car ran out of electricity. So, of course, people are honking now. I got to go around this fucking guy, and he looked panicked. He didn't know what the fuck he was doing. You saw it. The car was, like, just winding down, and it was, like, it just stopped. So I rolled my window down. I said, you all right? And the guy goes... Uh, I, I didn't charge my car enough. It's not. It just ran out of electricity. I fucking laughed at the guy, gave him the finger, and kept going. That's what you get for voting for Biden. Anyway, you're Hochul Hoedown. We haven't done one of these in a while. So, Governor Kathy Hochul wished me a happy Thanksgiving today and then warned me about the dangers of COVID. You know what, Kathy? Blow me. <laughs> Your COVID special report. So, Dr. Fauci and friends have some guidelines and suggestions to keep you to keep your Thanksgiving COVID free. First off, they said that when you're having gatherings, you know, with the older folks and and then the kids and stuff like that, what you should do is keep the kids masked while they're inside, and then. Have them eat really fast before anyone else does, and then make them put their masks back on and then put them outside. This way it keeps the older people from getting COVID. Th this is a fucking doctor, a medical doctor. This was his suggestion, okay? Him and the fucktards at the CDC. Oh, wait, it gets better. They also offered some suggestions to help you keep your Thanksgiving more COVID-free and, of course, maybe even a little bit more budget conscious. Because, you know, with inflation and everything, the price of fucking turkey, mud on, it's through the goddamn roof. It's an extra dollar, dollar and a half a pound, right? 
So they said, and I swear to God, this was on the news. I saw it with my own two fucking eyes. They said, perhaps this year, don't have turkey. They said, don't have turkey. Don't serve turkey. Serve something else. And what will end up happening is all those people that really love to have turkey on Thanksgiving won't come. And that will diminish the crowd that you have at your home for the holidays and therefore keep you a little bit more COVID free. And if you're going to have a gathering of like, you know, more than three people, everybody should be masked. They should be wearing diapers, they should be covered in plastic garbage bags, and they should be able to hold their breath in 15, 20-minute intervals, run outside and breathe, come back in. Okay? Uh, <laughs> the doctors, these are doctors, okay? Doctors. <clears throat> What's wrong with this thing? All righty. Okay. Kids, get your tickets out. Get ready. We're about to hop on that magical train into mayhem and craziness. The crazy train's about to leave the station. All aboard! Woo-hoo! First stop, New York. Okay, you guys are going to love this. So, Saturday, I got booted from Twitter. I mean, I tweet like once every like fucking like four or five fucking months, right? So I, I, br I blame Greg Gutfeld for this. This is his fault. He retweeted something or he responded to a tweet regarding the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, acquittal. Apparently, Mayor Muppet Hands felt the fucking need to weigh in on the acquittal. And he said, and I wish I could pull up the tweet, but I'm, blah, I'm, in, twi I'm in Twitter jail. I'm right up there with Trump. Um, de Blasio went on to say how the acquittal was in a... Uh, was unjust, and that the, 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 the three innocent people who were criminals, by the way, are, are dead, they were murdered by this guy, and we shouldn't stand for it, and we should do something. He was basically inciting a fucking riot in New York City. He was trying to fan those flames, and Gutfeld called him out on it. Basically called him a despicable person for trying to incite a riot on a city that's already a fucking demilitarized zone. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I saw this, and I become in fucking rage. Now, by, mind you, this was at like 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday. I got up to take a shit. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And, you know, when I'm on the, you know, when I'm on the, when I'm on the throne, I, I scroll a little bit. So, I see this, and I become fucking enraged, so I responded. Take a look. And I basically called the Blasio a shitbag. And I said that I hope he gets shot in the ass by one of the stray bullets that are flying around New York City. Now, I didn't say I was going to shoot him in the ass, okay? I didn't say that he should get killed. All I said was he should get shot in the ass by a fucking stray bullet. And for that, Twitter fucking banned me. Imagine? They and, then, and then, and then, and then, and then... They say, well, you know, you're locked out of your account, but if, you, if you'd if you like to, uh, you know, if you delete the tweet, we'll reinstate you in 12 hours. I'm, I'm going to blow me. I'm not going to fucking delete shit. Why should I? I appealed it. And I basically said, you know, that you got people on fucking Twitter, BLM activists, they incite violence all the time. You got politicians like fucking Maxine Waters who incites violence all the time, and AOC who encourage this shit, and Kamala Harris. Okay? They encourage violence and protesting and bullshit. You got the Taliban who have a Twitter account and they're fucking decapitating people and eating ice cream. And you got neo-Nazis on fucking Twitter. They all are. The Ku Klux Klan has a fucking Twitter account. Okay, Me, I suggest that an asshole gets shot in the fucking ass by a stray bullet. I get locked back. So I, I, I appealed to Twitter. I have not heard back from them. This was Saturday. Okay, today's Wednesday. I haven't heard back from them. Say, Jack Dorsey, you can kiss my fucking guinea ass, you Irish donkey. Okay, next stop, New York City. So, City Hall took down a statue of Thomas Jefferson the other day because it's racist. And I don't understand the fucking problem, okay? I mean, first of all, First of all, Thomas Jefferson has a lot in common with de Blasio. Well, maybe not a lot, but they have one one thing that they definitely see eye to eye on. They both like traipsing around in the dark forest. Okay? Although Thomas Jefferson, I'm sure, did it with a little bit more decorum. But, you know, I, I, so I don't, I don't see what the problem is there. I really don't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, truthfully, what the, you know... 
I mean, yes, I know he was a slave owner, but everybody would. But it, Thomas Jefferson treated his slaves delightfully. Okay, like I said, they both got an affinity for black women. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I don't see why you take a statue down. Hey, you know what they say? You get lost in that dog fire, boy, you don't come out. You know, the dog got to bury the sweet of the juice, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Next stop, New Jersey. We're going across the river. So I haven't been to Jersey in a while, and the feds are now looking for Jimmy Hoffa in a landfill under the fucking Pulaski Skyway. You heard me right. They're still looking for this motherfucker. He he died in 1975. Or, excuse me, he disappeared in 1975. Who fucking cares where the fuck he's buried? It's been 46 fucking years. Okay? <laughs> because they got a tip. They got a tip 46 years later. Some Momo claims that his father on his deathbed told him that the, that the, that the boys hired him to, you know, stick fucking Jimmy Hoffa in it. In an oil can, ship him from Michigan to New Jersey, and then fucking bury him in a goddamn <laughs> landfill under the Pulaski Skyway. So, you know what? Who gives a fuck if he's there or not? Yes, we understand. He's dead. Okay? The mob killed him. It's not a secret. Okay? We, they made fucking movies about it, for Christ's sake. I, th I think the cat's out of the bag. Do we really need to find him? Leave him where the fuck he is. Listen, if you deal, if you fuck around with guys like that and you get clipped, that's on you, okay? That you did something you shouldn't have fucking done, and that's that. And then the discussion. I, I, this is our tax dollars hard at work. This is what they waste our fucking money on. That and fucking depends for Biden. All right, next stop, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There's some BLM nutbag. Okay, drives through a crowd in a Christmas parade and then kills six people. I think it was six people. One of them being an eight-year-old boy. Okay, so now this guy is a convicted fucking felon. All right, he was arrested like a, a couple of weeks ago for trying to run his wife over. So he he's got a rap sheet a mile and a half long. He, he's a convicted fucking uh, felon. You know, domestic abuse. He's a sexual offender. This is not exactly a pillar of fucking humanity right here, okay? So he gets out of the can on a thousand dollars bail because of that new fucking liberal bail reform bullshit. <laughs> you know, the, the politicians that you fucking assholes elect, okay? And as soon as he gets out of the joint, he gets his hands on a car and decides to drive it through a fucking Christmas parade. Okay, this is, I mean, this is the kind of fucking people that we got. And, and some BL, BLM activist named Vaughn Mayers, Mays tweets, okay, that this was a result of the Rittenhouse acquittal and that the revolution has just started. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that sort of condoning violence, Okay. I mean, you Twitter fuck Nazi are listening, okay? That's condoning violence. And these dickbags all have fucking Twitter accounts, but I'm the one who gets banned, okay? I give a good suggestion, I get banned. These assholes are out there tweeting their fucking dicks off, and they, that's okay. Okay? I'm unbelievable. And they wonder why law-abiding citizens want to arm themselves. Someone should have shot this fucking animal right in the face. I mean, what are the people... I'm sure he didn't kill just white people, okay? But, you know, before, before anybody jumps up and goes, Oh my God, he's being racist! Again, I hate everyone equally. But they should have shot this fucking animal right in the face. One of the people that he killed was an eight-year-old little boy. Like I said, I'm sure it wasn't just white people, all right? Next stop, Louisiana. Tessica Brown. Remember Tessica, the Gorilla Glue girl? Well, you know, this bitch don't want to go away. <laughs> She's recently released a rap song, okay? Yep, you heard me. I, what, what the fuck goes through people's heads, okay? She released a rap song, and you can hear it on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube, um, about the, the trials and tribulations of... of, of Styling your hair with Gorilla Glue. I, I, I kid you not. I kid you not. The name of the song is called, wait for it, wait for it, My Hair. <laughs> I mean, I heard a few bars of it, and then I had to turn it off because I wanted to instantly put a fucking drill through my head. It goes, my head don't move, my head don't move, my head don't move. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Someone needs to run their ass over with a car. Unbelievable. 
All right, kids, your sports update. Well, NFL, I recently saw an email advertisement. This, this, you know, because of all the holidays, I get a lot of these fucking email things. Um, and I recently saw an email advertisement and it asked, what should you get for Giants fans this Christmas? And I thought about that for a second. And the answer came to me like a fucking lightning bolt. A fucking team that can play football. How about that? Okay. Holy fuck, Monday night's fucking game against the Buccaneers. 30 to fucking 10. Okay, the only thing that kept me from smashing the fucking TV was the Peyton and Eli show. I mean, needless to say, the Giants fired their offensive coordinator, Jason Garrett, the next day. Um, they should have fired this fuckstick after the first game. Okay, what do you expect when you hire someone the Cowboys just fired? Okay, they couldn't call Jerry Jones for a fucking reference. All right? I, I, I want to know how that interview went. So we want to know, why did the Cowboys let you go? Well, I don't, I believe it was because uh, I didn't they didn't appreciate my wokeism and player, uh, and player inclusivity. No, how about it's because you couldn't fucking do your job there either. You suck. <laughs> you have one fucking job, and it's to teach these assholes, okay, how to make smart plays and run the fucking goddamn ball down the end into the fucking end zone, okay? This week's misery? Saints play the Bills tomorrow at 8.20. Happy Thanksgiving, kids. Uh, Jets play the Texans Sunday at 1, and the Giants play the Eagles also Sunday at 1 o'clock. Oh, that's going to be a delightful game. Not even going to fucking watch it, okay? Uh, NHL, Rangers play the Islanders tonight in Elmont, okay? Hey, I got my Ranger gear on, although I got no place to go. Uh, <laughs> the Islanders right now suck, okay? Right now, they're currently in last place, 5-8. and eight. These were contenders for the Stanley Cup last year. I, I mean, I'm not an Islander fan. I don't really hate them, but I'm not an Islander fan. But my on, come on. They they blew their fucking home open a Saturday. They, they get built this multi-million dollar arena, and they, they, they walk in first game, they take a shit right on the ice, okay? It wasn't even like a close loss. It was a fucking bloodbath. They lost to the Flames. Anyway, what a way to christen their new arena. So I'm pumped for this game. I'm, hope, I'm hoping the fucking Rangers put them, put them to bed. I don't know. I mean, the Rangers are in second place. They're, they're, they're fucking hot right now. I know we got a lot of hockey to go, but they're <laughs> doing a hell of a lot better than the Islanders. So I salute, boys. Go ahead, get it done. Okay. On what the fuck is that? We're going to talk about birding. Now... I recently became aware of this word. I did not know that it was a noun or a verb, whichever one you want to use. Uh, but it, 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 it's the art or the activity of bird watching. Like people just sit around and like they observe birds. Sometimes they take pictures or they get binoculars. You see them in the park. Now I used to think these were pedophiles, but they could actually be birding. Okay, and I have a question when it comes to birding. What is fucking lacking in your life that you get off watching birds? Okay, get a job. Next up, your favorite new game, Right or Racist. So, today's Right or Racist question is, in 2006, Asian drivers had the highest fatality rate per 100,000 in the United States per the NHTSA. That's racist. See, not even close. Native Americans had the highest rate at 31.17, while Asians were far the lowest at 4.0. So what they're saying here, kids, kids, is that you shouldn't smoke them the peace pipe and drive at the same time. You're probably going to kill somebody. Now, they didn't say Chinese people or Asian people were good drivers. They simply said that they don't kill anybody or that they don't die themselves while they're, while they're driving. 
But they, because they, they usually get it, I mean, because they're in Queens, you can't really get, like, a good speed up there, you know, on Francis Lewis or Queens Boulevard or Bell Boulevard. You know, you're not really getting up to speed. You're not up to killing speed, okay? You know, most of the time they just knock somebody over, hit a mirror, sideswipe a door, and then they look at you like you're crazy when you go, when you start yelling and screaming at them. But they don't actually kill people. The Native Americans are fucking high as a kite somewhere in Wyoming where they can get up to like 100 miles an hour. When they hit you, they kill you. All right, kids, your PSA. I haven't done a Dunkin' Donuts story in a while, and today was a doozy, I gotta tell you. I, but I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I didn't go too fucking bad. I didn't, I didn't end up in handcuffs. So I go into a slightly different Dunkin' Donuts than I usually go to. And I ordered my usual order. Extra large coffee, hot, cream, no sugar. Apparently this was confusing. To the Two people had to weigh on me because what they couldn't figure out what the fuck I was saying. Okay? They didn't understand what I was saying when I was trying to order my coffee. They fucked it up three times. Three fucking times. They gave me pumpkin spice coffee. Well, the first, first, no, I, I take it back. First, they ate, they wanted to add a shot of espresso. And I just happened to look at the thing. And I went, no, I, I don't want espresso. She goes, oh, you want donut? I'm like, no, I, I don't want a donut. I don't want espresso in my coffee. And she, they, like, horrified, confused. She, I give you a donut. I'm like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want a fucking donut. I just, I just want the coffee that I ordered. So now they give me the coffee, and it's got pumpkin spice, and I can smell it. I said, did you put pumpkin spice in it? She goes, yeah. I said, I, I didn't ask you for fucking pumpkin spice in my coffee. And they were just so... I, I got to the point where I didn't throw the coffee in the woman's face like I had wanted to. I refrained, because she was a chick. Had it been a guy, I probably would have. But... <clears throat> I did get a little nasty. I, I understand that when I get agitated, there's a certain nasty tone that my voice takes, more so than usual, and I'm well aware of it, and I don't make any apologies for it. I'm actually kind of proud of it, because it comes across crystal fucking clear, okay? And the woman starts just, sir, you do not need to be nasty, because I said this is not a fucking complicated thing, and I started, she's, you do not need to be nasty. I said, maybe if you focused a little less on my disposition and the fact that I had to order this. I said, everybody else in the Dunkin' Donuts knows what kind of order I want except you. Okay? I mean, listen. First of all, I know it ain't me. Okay? And I, I, I know I speak English because I record myself every fucking week and play it back. So I understand the words coming out of my mouth are perfectly fucking clear. All of my subscribers know what the fuck I'm saying. Everybody else throughout the day knows what I'm saying. It's just something happens when I go into a Dunkin' Donuts. They don't understand what the fuck you're trying to say. It's I, and I don't understand what it is. I really don't. I don't get it. Simplest thing in the world. Coffee. They can't get it, and then they get mad when I get agitated. So, here's the PSA. If you're, if you're stupid, which clearly you are, then don't be fucking sensitive. Because when people get nasty based on your stupidity, you're actually learning something. Because right then and there, their they, they fucking cobwebs clear up and they get the coffee right. Or they understand what you're saying because now you said it nastier. So nasty people are actually doing you a fucking favor by helping you to be unstupid. <sighs> anyway, happy Thanksgiving, fuckers. Remember, stay COVIDless, kids. No mask, don't ask. Haters can kiss my ass. And who loves you, babe? It's been your Friday wrap-up. I'll see you when I see you.